Once you've installed and configured the Scene Security Tools plugin, it's time to create your startup scene. You can load all the models you frequently use, like light switches, decor, plumbing fixtures, carpets, doors, and windows. Next, choose your render engine, set the image resolution, and adjust the viewport layout. And don't forget to organize everything into layers. This makes your workflow much easier. Once the scene is ready, save it under the name Startup Scene. If you're using multiple versions of 3DS Max, you can include the version number in the file name. Now for the most important part, let's create the script. Go to the scripting menu and click New Script. Paste the full path to your saved scene. You can find this path by opening the folder where your scene is saved then copying the address from the top bar, or by right-clicking the scene file and choosing Open File Location. At the end of the path, make sure to include the name of the scene file. Save the script into your 3DS Max directory, specifically in the Scripts folder, and then into Startup. Save it under the name startup.miz. That's it. Now every time you open 3DS Max, your custom startup scene will load automatically.